I was gonna say it way until it was really good because what's good is is to fly my poets in the building. That's fly what I'm saying. Fly my poets in the building. <laughs> Trailblazer music. And yeah. yeah. I'm Bars that move, aka the Rebel Spitter, Word. aka Clayton County's Dream Bounty Hunter. Word. Aka the Mastermind. See though. Aka Dwayne of the Dwayne James Dynamic Duo. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can talk. I, you know, I gotta be. Uh, I gotta be like Badu and Andre with all they AKAs. I hear you. Hey, right, right, right. hey, man. That's so what's been yeah. popping, man? What's been popping? Tell man, us, catch us up. Basically, uh, well, last time we saw y'all, we was about to drop Nation Leaks. We dropped that. We got, um, well, y'all know about we w- we was third place on um, Jay Good um, website. Oh, yeah. Third right. place for the, the yeah. yeah, straight out the den for the mixtape. We was third place. We also won a, a award last year, Underground YGEA Awards for Conscious Artist of the Year. Right. Oh, um, oh. which had in the past they had. Waka Flocka, Gucci, man, they had all type of mainstream artists that's out now. They had, mm-hmm. they came to the awards, so that was a good look. And, and it um, was based on what they heard from the tape. From they the nominated us, mm-hmm. right, right. So they nominated us off of the tape itself, right. And um, we're moving the tape still to the, f- from a year ago, right. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what gave me the, that's what gave me faith when I when I just the, after just selling a tape, knowing I can make money off of this thing, that's what propelled me further, right? Mm-hmm. Because like i always had a uh, a passion for music like what y'all was talking about earlier this is why i know what i'm doing is i'm supposed to be doing because i could do this for 20 years and not get paid mm. and and have the faith that i can get paid because it just it burns inside of me like i don't have to push myself i'm pulled to do it that's why i don't sleep mm. i just get up i go in the studio knowing i have to work in two hours I can do it all day. I don't have to push myself. I'm pulled. To yeah, do. I'm I pulled like to that. do it. Nigga, I'm gonna I'm put that on to Facebook. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I like that. Yeah. So basically, uh, we we doing this uh video thing on on seven five tripping. Mm-hmm. Both song. It's two a two song video concept. Okay. And uh, both songs was on this Nation Leaks uh project, which you can get on uh www.newjrebellion.com. No I see. Saying? You see what he did right there. Right. Yeah, I see what you did. Right. So, you know you got to say what he Yeah, thing man, like that. do it Feel like that. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we we wanted to release the video as a, a special way of uh, saying thanks to our supporters, and it's like a one year anniversary type of thing. You but know what I'm saying? So, and basically, if y'all don't remember, last year we we yeah, said right, we was gonna right. do this. No, we had this as an idea. We said we might do this two song video, and Jimmy was like, "Go ahead and do it." I'm like, "Yeah, put it out there, so we gotta yeah. do it." So we first mentioned yeah. it on this show, yeah, and, then <laughs> now, and a year later almost, because yeah. it's, it's coming to fruition. Let me see right. what this yeah. platform is. See what yeah. I'm talking about, it man? Full it's circle, circle. Yeah. full circle. You right, man? Yeah, that it's make something. us feel special, man. Yeah, but you know, that's why um, I'm I'm a man of the culture. Like, um, like I feel like I'm a part. Of, I belong here. Right. That's why you see me at all the events and stuff because I, I believe in or whatever's organic it works right. i don't have to i don't want to i don't like forcing anything absolutely you know i mean so i want to say something about them though man like and i've i've told them this before see, but you finna go where i was going i already no but see here here's the thing though like these two dudes right here no matter what show it is they there mm. front row center and they supporting the other artists mm. and the thing is that's why i go so hard for them because it's like they they don't owe me anything bro like they literally show up to events and they repping they artists but they don't realize like them showing up like that and going so hard for these other artists they repping themselves too because mm-hmm. people remember who they are people people don't forget that they see y'all faces that they show it's like they know true. that you know what i'm saying so it's like keep doing that even though i know y'all doing it out of the love but like right, it's right. still yeah. it, it still like, works it helps yeah what's his name from added crew i seen him on good hennessy uh uh was pretty it, ken pretty ken, pretty yeah. ken yeah. he said something that really resonated with me and i always knew when he said if the city is popping and you supporting the city and the artists in there that'll help you too yeah but i don't do it just because it helped me because we but were fans the, first yeah we were yeah. fans first but at the same time if you popping and you showing love to everybody else how would wouldn't that get them paid as well? Right. Mm-hmm. Just like when he said, if you were a popping artist, but you come to a good Hennessy show, you know what I'm saying? They will get more views too. Like mm-hmm. they'll, they'll eat off of that. Yeah, so right. it's, it's, it's family. It's not, it's not an ego thing. Like, um, damn, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something real vital to that. But I <laughs> yeah, it's that, all good. It's all good. It's that concoction I got it in this uh, hey. team gorilla drink. Yeah. Yeah. Bring something for everybody in there, time. I, I got you. Saying, I got right. you. Oh yeah, because last time he asked you for something, you have it. <laughs> I, 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 I,
I'm always bullying the, the younger brother. Oh, <laughs> oh you're talking to me, man. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Chill out. We did this little thing at uh, the show on Saturday. This nigga said I was opening up for him. I'm like, this I mean, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bully me because I'm three minutes younger. Bro, get out of here. Hey, man, so look. Y'all real brothers. Right. How important is it for y'all to keep that bun? Y'all, y'all bun is just- Man. Magnificent. I just want to use that word too. I, I, yeah, I, I see what you're doing. I like that, that man. <laughs> yeah, man. It, it's real important. It's it's just it's. Of course, it's natural because we twins, but it's like. It, it's it's so easy, of course, to work with them in the in the, in the studio because we, as 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 similar as we are, we have a major difference. Yeah, yeah, we do. Major differences. Like he's more. We're both introverts, but he's way more introverted than me. He, I'm more scatterbrained. He can bring me back down to earth, yeah. but I can make him. I mean, he always move on his own, but I can make yeah. him multifaceted more because I'm more the scatterbrained. Yeah. I think quicker, but he thinks deeper, yeah. and and it works with the music. If you if you listen to the music, because we're gonna have individual tapes in a couple years, maybe a year, whatever, you will see the difference. He's his 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 his, his voice is more penetrating. You know what I'm saying, and it's to the point. I'm more free flowy, mm. like, like I, I'm, I mean, I, I am a real um, conceptual conceptual artist, but I'm a little more free flowy. I go off the beat. I go what the beat tells me. So, gotcha. you know what I mean? And they, they, I think it just works for both of us. When we come together, we just fuse both of those together. And I'm just, I'm not gonna say the name of this tape we're working on, mm. but that's why I'm excited about it, man. Mm. I'm very excited about it. I'm gotcha. very excited Especially about it. It's the, gonna, it's, it's a lot of progress. The gotcha. sounds that come with it because like a lot of times we're labeled as conscious lyrical artists, but a lot of times the thing that come with it is that we want a certain type of beat, like the Ninth, one, ninth Wonder type of beat or the conscious boom bap, but we feel like- We want to experiment. Yeah, we want to experiment. I feel, yeah. That's why I feel like I'm more connected to Outkast because they experiment, you know what I'm saying, beyond what's, uh, how, how can you say, what's, what you should be labeled to be. Or yeah. like what Kendrick did with Untitled on the Master, right, like right. that put God on the phone, you know, mm. that, like experimenting, you right, know what I mean? Right. You ain't gotta be all worthy all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, gotcha. just bring people in. Gotcha. Yeah, man, I, that, 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 you see, what y'all said, tell me y'all working on some new music, y'all ain't gonna tell us the title. <laughs> no, not yet, not yet, oh, not, man, yet not yet. I, I, I respect it, man, I respect <laughs> it. <laughs> you know. But, uh, but now I, y'all know. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I'm happy to know that y'all are um, working on some, some uh, new music, I just man. threw the key out right there, yeah. but y'all didn't, okay. y'all probably didn't catch it. Okay, I, I, I'm going to catch it, man. Now we know or something. I don't know, man. Dang, trying to get Can't be doing all this thinking, I called man. It. Okay. Good, Hennessy, God. tell me all that. Okay, all you right. just acting like you caught it. Okay, cool. It's all good. It's all good. So tell, tell us a little bit about this visual, man. Like um, the 75, uh, on 75 and tripping. Like I've seen y'all perform. Um, I think both of these records. Yeah, right, I think yeah, yeah, perform both of these records. Saturday, matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tripping for the first time. So, Which, yeah, t- tell I'm us sorry. about the, the, the video and, and the thought process and, and, you know, everything that went behind it. Basically, on um, 75 Tripping, it's um, on my song, I'm talking about when I'm driving around the city, what goes, what, what's on my mind. Like, recently, well, about almost two years ago, my, our best friend passed. He got shot. In the head, and uh, somebody tried to rob him, and they burnt. They shot him in the head, burnt his body, tried to kill the evidence, and the, and the house got burnt too. You'll see that in the video. Mm-hmm. But I'm just reminiscing on stuff like that while I'm talking about my adventures through riding down 75, because you know I'm from the South Side, so I got to go through 75 to get everywhere. Mm-hmm. So that runs through my mind um, constantly, because that's my partner. And when I'm running through 75, I'm, I'm a thinker. I meditate around mm. 75, so you hear all my thoughts on that. And sometimes, admittedly, I drink and I drive, which is not a good role model move, but that's what I do sometimes. And he goes on, t- in the yeah, next song, go, Tripping. Yeah, yeah, I basically go into you know, my past of drinking and driving because I never knew how to deal with certain vices because they reach in a deeper level. Like, you know, like as, I ain't wanna go too deep into this, but you know, as, conscious artists that's you know very laid back it seemed like our music is a great way to vent about everything we really went through because we w- really went through some shit mm-hmm. but i don't like to you know glamorize it you know what i'm yeah. saying but the music is a great way for me to release it like it's a lot of dark side in my music so tripping was basically touching on me dealing with that vice and you know driving around and having that in my hand to really deal with my everyday problems but it's really, uh, I really had to let that go because it was just a, a check 
for me to check on my vice because it's a way for me to check myself. Okay. When you like, because a lot of times when I write music, it's it's for me. You know what I'm saying? So right, tripping right. is basically just you know about that. Yeah. So I just caught this. So it's two videos, mm-hmm. right? Two songs, two solo songs, right? That's so dope. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. I I just caught mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Okay. I like. Yeah, that. and this shot. Uh, it was shot by K. You know what I'm saying? She oh. just uh. Word. She just started her new company, Inverted Imagery. Look out. Okay. Yeah. Little, little Dej Loaf over there. <laughs> she never, uh, <laughs> her drop should be, you just got shot by the K. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. I did like that, that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, man. And she, you, I mean, if y'all haven't heard about Shot by K, she did a lot of dope videos for I Beast, which is our, you know, our teammate of New GA. And you get all our stuff at NewJRebellion.com. You know, I'm always plugging. But, yeah, yeah, as you should. You know, but that, that's the – that's Will, As well as Jimmy and South, too. Yeah, yeah, word, that's, that's the word. squad, man. Appreciate like, it, appreciate it's all it. a um, support system. So. Appreciate it. How's that vibe over there at, 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 at the New GA headquarters, man? I fuck, it's like the reason why I fuck with it is so tough because we can all just be ourselves and we – we can support each other, man. Like, I Beast is a true to the game type dude. Like, he can he speak his. I, I respect him because he gonna tell you what he feel. Oh, like, we know. If I if I make my music, <laughs> he gonna tell you, bro. Bro, I don't fuck yeah, with that, bro. Yeah. Like you, I, you better than that, bro. Like he, he's not even a big conscious yeah. um, fan. Like mm-hmm. as a you know, he's not big on conscious rap, but he he knows talent when he see it. So right. he's gonna check you and he on like it. the fact that we're being honest, we're being ourselves, like we're being right. real, because that's what New GA is it's based about. on honest yeah. music. That's honesty, what it's based on right. honesty, just putting your music out and believing you can build a certain like a brand or a pathway to make it. Because we we, we don't believe in fitting in trends. We believe in following what what our heart tells us, and where where we wherever we're supposed to be, we're gonna be there. Mm. Like we're not all meant to be Drake or Kendrick. We just meant to. Be where 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 God tell us in our heart that we we supposed to be, and that comes through intuition because we we can't we don't know what we supposed to be mentally. That's our physical brain. Right. Right. We can only go by our intuition because God sees the mountain, He sees the pathways, but we we're not supposed to see that because we don't have the capacity to do it. We just gotta trust it when we feel it. Gotcha. So oh, that's what we follow. Yeah. God is just at the mountaintop, right? right? Yeah. He tug you this way. You don't know always know exactly where you're going. But he leads you to know, you know right? Preach. I ain't mean right. to be all spiritual, Preach. but that's just what it's based on, though. Right. Like right. we're so-called unapologetically deep. That's what I beast coined us as. Right. But, unapologetically deep. That's but dope. It's just that's just an everyday thing for us. It's like we see life more than just the surface, mm. basically. Right. So sometimes, to be honest, it's, it's hard as an artist that way because I it's, it feel like we are too deep for some listeners, but. Mm. Just like he said, we we are where we need to be based on you know how we are, right? How right. we are, who we are. Y'all grew up with uh, both parents. Definitely, we grew up with both parents. Um, they, we we were was born in New York. They was raised in New York, and we moved down to College Park at two years old. Mm-hmm. Went through a lot of turbulence. Um, we're not street dudes, but we went through like most. I don't want to say most black kids, but we 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 did our dirt, whatever you want to say, but. Growing up, I was real. I grew up kind of confused because I, I innately felt what the world was pushing on us wasn't right. Mm-hmm. Like I, I felt that's why today I call call myself. We call ourselves rebels because, like the structure of what what, what this nation is built that we they say we supposed to live upon, it just doesn't feel natural to me. I don't I don't I don't feel pulled that direction. Mm-hmm. Like. Like, you know, like we said about earlier, what Gary Vee was talking about on The Breakfast Club, like co- college and school is not for me. It is, isn't, I'm supposed to follow, I feel like I was supposed to follow a protocol of my heart and where I was supposed to be led to, but I fell for that speech, like go to, co- sc- co- go to college, go to school, you know what I mean? And I fell for it, and that's what, that's what we brought that vice. That's how this, this vice came to us, because we tried to kill yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that inner voice. We didn't know what it meant, but we tried to kill it, because it just, we felt like college is right because that's what my parents said. Right. And so right. we right. eventually that, flunked out, you know what I mean? Right. Flunked out and found this passion because we was doing this naturally since eight years old. It was under right. our nose. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I wish we could have followed it earlier, but if we did, we probably wouldn't have got the knowledge we had to spit now. 
Yeah, that's dip. very true yeah. because when we started rapping, we was lying like hell. Yeah, mm. we were so much gang, like, bang, bang, bang like shoot them up. Six yeah, mafia. Right, right. Like, yeah, but but that that experience got gave us the truth, and I feel like I owe it to the world. So, right, man, I, I feel it. like um, I don't know. You about to say something? No, I don't I'm, cool. I'm cool. I want to play this either or, man. Oh but yeah, I want to. I want to. Yeah. I want to do like a special edition, though. So, oh, okay, talk you to know. me. Oh, dang, uh, now we feel special now. Yeah. Talk so since me. we got <laughs> since we got twins in here, right? We got twins. Oh. I'm figuring we can do a, a either or, but we can call it, you know, bars and trailblazer. You know, what I'm saying bars mm, yeah. or trailblazer. So how about I'm gonna spit out something, and then y'all tell me which one of this, which one of y'all does this apply to more. Mm. Oh, you know okay, okay, okay. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we we're just gonna have a little fun with it. Okay, so I'm gonna follow, I'm follow your lead. You follow man. my lead on this, so, yeah. you know. So okay, so check this out. Um, cereal or, or oatmeal? I say he's oatmeal. 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 Cereal. You cereal. Yeah. See, I figured there was gonna be some differences right there. Yeah. I did that wrong, but y'all just go with it. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna keep it yeah. going. Henderson, just throw out one thing. I threw out two things. And we're gonna say if it's bars or we're gonna uh, And do you want us to tell us do you why if we Yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, okay. yeah, go ahead. Okay. I feel like he's more of a purist than I am. Like see, we about to get deep. Y'all he's <laughs> a purist for the ahead. next go one ahead. because he yeah, he's a, obviously see that he's a he's, purist. I, I'm I, I'm more of the introvert because he's doing most of the talking. Yeah. On the next one I'll be the extrovert. Oh gotcha. <laughs> Um, he's the purest. I, I I can get pulled in by temptation more than he does. Mm. I can get because I, I I'm honest about that. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm still the dude. Like, we're both single. We're both bachelors, but I still get pulled. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? You, I I'm you. still playing the field a little too yeah. much, yeah. Right, right. and I should be focused on what I'm supposed to do. Right. So that's that's very <laughs> you know what I mean? that's very honest. Yeah, man. that's yeah. very honest. He like like the, the big boy. Out of the okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Player and poet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I, I well, see you know, where we're going. Hey, man, you know, you, you, you gotta get your dick wet. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong what? with that. There's nothing wrong with that, though. I'm nothing wrong with it. Man, you know, that thing got a spit. Oh man, oh Henderson I ain't see that one coming, bro. Curveball. Yeah, that, that, that's why. Hey, that's why you're here. Curveball. So look, you you say you want me to say one, just just one, one just one, and it's either gonna be bars or a, a trailblazer. He about to go, but I don't know. Shit, I don't want to say one. I want to okay. do or or. Okay, well then we will right, just go ahead. You do it. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. Cause I don't know how to. I want to say old school or luxury. Okay. You know that's what I want to say. Okay, cool. Well, let's go with it. Old school or luxury. And we talking about cars, right? I don't know yeah. we talking about cars. I right. think I know. I I I got an answer, but I'm gonna let you answer. You gonna say uh, luxury? Yeah, I'm more old school. Yeah, mm. I say that. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I'm the one that follows temptations. Like I could be the one that's more of the vanity slave, I guess you could say. <laughs> I could be more toward that direction. And gotcha. He can pull me back down to earth. Gotcha. I mean, I love uh, I love luxury too, but I just I rather have it. I rather it be a sports car. But other than that, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because I like, you know, full speed ahead. Like, well, true, you know. true. So, hmm. so you, you the four four too, the Cutlass. Right. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. Gotcha. But I like the old school because it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's, I'm not saying the other is not mature, but it fit my essence of maturity. Gotcha. Hmm. Even though old school doesn't, it doesn't mean you're mature or not, but I feel like it just fits my essence. Like I'm just laid back and, you know true, what I'm saying? True. Gotcha. All right. I got some for Stevie it, right? Wonder, I, I got some. We're going to stick with the original either or what my, my idea that was whack. No. <laughs> All right, so check this out. We got duos right here, right? Duos. All right, so see. Outcast or 8 Ball of MJG? Outcast. Outcast. That was too easy. Outcast. <laughs> that was too easy. All right, so we're going we're going to salute we're going to salute up top real quick. Watch this. All right. Mob Deep mm. or mm. I don't even know no other duos out there. Man. Who? I know you. That, that, that that's not a duo though. Oh, yeah. It's 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 like three or four in tribe. Oh, yeah. so What's another duo? duo? Mob D, the only up top duo y'all got. Heavy D and the boy. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Mob D for CNN. What's up? I say Mob D. <laughs> See, I can't really say because I ain't listen to CNN like that. That's the only mm. thing. Yeah. So don't, let, don't, let hit, don't let Nori don't let Nori hear you say that. Yeah. yeah I, well, I mean, it's the truth, though. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> but I still fuck with uh, Nori as a personality, though. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, Nori, yeah. Nori having a podcast is one of the best yeah, things right, right. Yes. ever. Yeah. Yes. 
Cause Nori got stories. Yeah, for he does. Days. He always have the best. You're the man. One. He got he stories. He had about for days. Uh, DMX. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Talk yeah. about the studio thing. Like yeah. you down in Miami, and DMX didn't want to get into the studio. Like it took like later in, yeah. in the week. It took like studio time for the whole the week, whole week. They and they didn't <laughs> use it. And DMX like, yo, this dude here, he got a studio. Like we're gonna go ahead and use his studio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, experience. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. True. So, mm-hmm. with that being said, independent or major? Independent. Independent. I like to be in control. I don't. I, I like. I mean, it's more work, but it, like you, that shouldn't bother you. If you're passionate about it. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel. I, I, I like being in control. I like. I can drop the project when I want to. I can. I, I like being hands on. Like y'all see this in the visual video we dropped. We was hands on with K the whole way through. I like being hands on. I don't like a person to tell me to go to the studio. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be there. So <laughs> you know million, what I mean? Right. So million, million dollars out the gate plus three sixty versus getting out the mud. Getting out the mud because you getting out the mud because the lessons you gain, like the 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 wisdom you have once you get it, and you appreciate the journey once you get there mm-hmm. more than just off the rip, just getting a million or whatever. Because I feel like, and that's that's what was exciting to me, like. It's just it's the journey, man. Like I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but trying to figure it out is exciting to me. Like I, I, I'm a creator. I feel like that's we should be that should be exciting to us to try to create a way. Mm-hmm. Like the fact we don't know and the fact we got to take risks. That's living to me. Mm-hmm. If you if you don't if if you're not doing that, they don't give you some kind of fear. You're not living to me. It's just right, you right. just you, you're you're it, yeah you're playing it safe. safe. Yeah. That's not that's not living to me, but that's just me. You feel me? I, I like playing. I like taking risks. Like go outside in the field when the sniper got his shit out and r- trying to run. run to the yeah, get, get where you I gotta really go. That life. Right. I really get where you gotta life. go. Are we like, getting a live call? just stay in this little room. Nah. Yeah. I'm about we get a live too. call on the good Hennessy show. That you gonna you gonna pick that up? Hennessy? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, never mind that mm-hmm. ring. Now you just you know. Yeah, but no, you, you know what y'all was saying just then, though, man. It's like you know, higher the risk, the greater reward. You know? Right. Even That's, though you do gotta be cautious while you take a risk. Right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. You you, you gotta be cautious, but resume. the the thing about the thing about yeah, hit resume on that. The thing about taking risks, man, is like that that you have to understand is that if you don't take a risk, you're never gonna find out the what. Like I don't like right. that what if. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I don't like that. Man, what if I would have did this? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And, and I've done it in the past. And, and you know, if, if I would have took baseball serious, I probably would have been, you know, playing True. baseball. But I was kind of like thinking I had the talent mm-hmm. and didn't yeah, want to put the true. extra work in. And then the people that who I thought didn't have the talent put the work in, and they you and know right. they did what they did. You and, know it's, what and sometimes when you put your all into something and it don't work, it was a reason you had the passion for because you might learn something for the next level in life. Mm-hmm. So right. you take something from everything. But I also want to I also want to say uh you know everybody have they they unique um paths. So I feel like if you go major, sometimes your heart led you to major the major uh you know the major way instead of independent from the start so you can learn something to bring back to independent. Mm. Like, like Nipsey, Nipsey Hustle, Hustle did. Right. Yeah. Like a Nipsey Hustle, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or how Absolutely. Scarface is doing now. Like True. He did great numbers on that uh his last album, mm-hmm. doing it himself. So we had a comment. Yeah, we got a comment from Z three. Oh, what's happening, Z? Z three. The hell you been at? Red man. Mm. Met the met the man of red man. <laughs> I say red. Mm. Met the, damn, met the that's man. hard though. That's a tough one. Now that was a good one. What was his name? Z three. Z three. Hey, shout yeah, out he, to Z three. Uh, he produced our uh last project before this one. It was okay. Title okay. Fly Minds. He produced the homie. That's on uh, www.com <laughs> <laughs> as well. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, so go ahead and get that. So right. look, man, I know um, y'all, y'all brought this video to us, um, and we're premiering it live right here on LiveHipHopDaily.tv. Right. So this is, you know, um, a, a gift, a free gift for y'all, man. So, uh, yes, sir. Before y'all introduce the video, how can people connect with y'all? I know y'all say um, y'all already gave the website, but how can people connect with y'all, social media and all that, and then end that by, you know. Once again, it's www.newgarebellion.com. Yeah. I just had to plug that back in. Yes, sir. And uh, Fly My Poets on every site, from SoundCloud to Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook fan page. And 
you can find us individually. You will end up finding us if you follow Fly My Poets. It's Trailblazer Music and Bars Damu. It's B A R Z D A M U. And I'm not a blood. That's my name. <laughs> and Fly Minds with a Z. Fly, fly my, no, no, no. no, no. Uh, spell correctly. Yeah, spell correctly. Correct. Fly yeah. my poets. Cool, man. So, yeah, take it to this your video, man. This uh, me and Henry, we quiet. <laughs> yeah, your video, this, is, man. this is on I-75, tripping, um, shot by K, you know. And um, this is off that um, Nation Leaks mixtape. It's a two-song concept in a video, and I know y'all will enjoy it. Right. This, uh... You know, tr- seven five is gonna be first. He's gonna be opening up for me on the video, yeah. and then that trip ain't gonna come after. I knew he was gonna do something. <laughs> All right, man, it's love, man. Yeah.